Welcome everybody to Agent Mastermind 2014. This is my this is Scott Hutzbeth, your host, and we have an amazing, amazing class. It's kind of a takeoff from last year, believe it or not, I can say last year, where Carl White was on the call with us and he shared how to market to your database. And I tell you, some amazing results coming in over the holidays with just engaging and interacting with your database on a regular basis. It's amazing to see what actually happens. So uh, without further ado, Carl White is on the call with us. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, brother. So, uh, Scott, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm broadcasting out of uh, Palm Harbor, Florida, uh, just out of, outside of Tampa Bay. And we're not going to be setting uh, New Year's resolutions here. We're going to be setting up uh, a plan of action to take. And so we're going to give you very specific action items that will see a, you'll see a drastic difference in your real estate business uh, literally in the next 30 days. Okay. So... Um, so let's just jump right into this. Um, Sounds good. What we're going to talk about today is how to get more referrals and closing by a really cool uh, little secret phone technique. Because you know, Scotty, we we all know that the money is is by making phone calls, right? We know that. No we question. Know that, no question. Yeah, making phone calls, whether we're calling FISBOs, expired listings, our current database, uh, the, the money's on the phone calls. Because how do we get appointments? We get appoint appointments. <laughs> by making phone calls, and, no and, and we all know that. So there's this real clever little thing uh, that we stumbled upon, and it's called Phone Burner. And so we're going to go over Phone Burner, and we're going to go over some scripts uh, for you to use with Phone Burner as real estate agents. And again, I uh, just want to uh, reemphasize that, uh, that, that myself nor Scotty have any interest in any products or services uh, that we Welcome. Welcome to GoToWebinar. Webinars made easy. Turn you on to that back though. So, uh, so we have no interest in any of the products or anything that we ever uh, talk about on here. It's strictly we're just showing you some of the tools that we use, and there's no affiliate links or anything like that. Anyway, so we talked about in our last class. Uh, we talked about that. Um, um, that we're in our marketing to our database business, and, and by the way, if you need a copy of last uh, of last the, our last class, uh, be sure to contact the uh, the loan professional that sent you here. You're going to want to listen to the last class. It's just a, no a high, 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 high money making activity phone call or, or class that we did. So we talked about that we're in a marketing to our database business, not the real estate business, and uh, we talked about the three things. Uh, to do to market to your database. We talked about that you need to call your database three times a year. Uh, we talked about some of the scripts on that. So again, your loan professional can send you a recording of that class. Um, we talked about how to email out to your database once per week. Uh, we showed the charts where emailing once per week actually had the least amount of opt-outs than even if you send once per month. Once per month had the highest amount of opt-outs. Uh, we talked about snail mailing uh, to your database, right, and what to snail mail. And just for a quick reminder on the email, uh, we, we talked about, you know, don't send to real estate info all the time. It's kind of boring sometimes. We talked about how do you email to your database, video marketing, and what's happening in your area. We talked about on the video marketing that all you need is a smartphone and YouTube and no editing. Uh, we talked about what the short call to action at the very end should be to, uh, to get more real estate deals. Uh, from uh, emailing your database, and again on the snail mails, we talked about the 12 mailers that we recommend that you send out to your database uh, each and every month. Uh, you know, a, a mailer every month, and we we gave the schedule here. We gave examples of this, and again, your your um, your favorite loan professional sent you here has a copy of that class. You're definitely going to want to go watch that. Uh, yeah, but what we're sure. going to talk about. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, is the phone call part of it. And, and first of all, just a little housekeeping real quick. Myself or Scotty or nobody else on the call, uh, we're not attorneys. Uh, we got a little thing here. We shot them all. But, uh, <laughs> so, so, you know, anything we talk about, all, you're always going to run through your compliance officer, you know, to make sure that everything uh, that we talk about, you know, you're, you're allowed to do in your state. And if there's certain things that you have to say or licenses that you have to throw in or something like that, obviously we, you know, we advocate uh, following all the laws uh, so that you stay in business. All right. So, Scotty, you know, a big part of making phone calls, I mean, we all know that we need to be working the phone more. But 
you know, a big part of it is, you know, 70% of the time that people spend making phone calls is kind of wasted time, you know, because they're they're hitting answering machines, bu you know, busy signals, um, voicemail, disconnected numbers, and 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 then when they leave a voicemail, they're leaving the same one, you know, 30 times, and the sounds kind of drab when you're leaving. It's, it's hard to sound energetic, you know, when you've been on the phone all day saying the exact same thing to to 100 different voicemails. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you know, one of the things, Carl, that I find talking to a lot of people like we do is the thrill of the chase. I think I don't know what it is about, and this is maybe backing up from the last class, just kind of refresher. We're we're always looking for a new lead or a new deal or uh, some like a new prospect, a new buyer, seller, or whatever. What we don't realize is we spend more time trying to get those new buyers and sellers. And if we just did what we did in the last class and what we're going to show you right now you would have an influx of those. You, because people already, if the people that you've worked with already know, like, and trust you. If you just had, and we're going to give you some scripts, and I think that's what it is, like, what if? What do I say? How much is too much? How much is not enough? I mean, all that stuff. So we're going to cover that coming up. But this is this is one of the, um, the, the, the tool we're showing you is so amazing. And not only is it amazing, it's somebody else can be doing it for you. And I, I've seen a, a couple questions coming in about, well, what if they answer the phone? So we're gonna, I just want to let you know we're going to cover all that stuff here. But... If you can remove yourself from like just kind of have an open mind as we're going through this and know that you ha everybody on this call has a database of people that know, like, and trust them. And if you use what we're showing you right here, I, I can tell you that they will send their friends, family, and coworkers to you just by staying in touch with them. And we all know that. So just kind of have an open mind when you're listening to this. Yeah, and, and this, I mean, really this strategy goes back to one of those, you know, if you're, if you're stuck on a desert island somewhere and could only take one tool with you uh, and yeah. you wanted to rebuild your real estate business, this, this would certainly be on my list. So, All right. Question. So what this device lets you do is it keeps you from wasting time with the answer machines. It, uh, it'll give you increased contact rates. It'll help you be more productive. And the biggest thing that I have found, because I use this myself in, our, in my business, is it, it, it helps keep me feel refreshed and, and focused. So if I'm working through my phone list of past database, I can, you know, this little tool makes it so I don't feel so beat up at the, uh, at the, uh, at the end of the day. So let's do a real quick overview about, um, about what this thing is and, and, uh, and how it works here. Next slide. So an overview of how it works. So basically what this thing does is it's a, uh, it's a service that you call this service and you upload your list of phone numbers you're going to be calling onto this service. And then you log on to the website and you say, okay, start making the phone calls. And it calls the first number. And if somebody picks up live, you just simply talk on your telephone. Because when you go on the website, it will give you a phone number to call into. So when you're on this website, you're seeing things that you can click on, and you're on your telephone. Because you, you, when you log in, it will give you a number to call in so that you're live. And what it does is it dials all the phone numbers for you so you don't get any missed dials because you know, the computer is the one that's calling the phone numbers. And when somebody answers, you just talk on your phone and you're talking to them direct. If you hit a voicemail, which you're going to 70% of the time, 70% of the time is what our studies show us, 70% of the time that you call somebody, you're going to hit their voicemail. And what this thing lets you do is you record the message that you're going to leave if you're calling all your past database. And again, we're going to give you some examples here in a minute. You, you, you record that message one time on the website. And the advantage of recording at one time is you sound energized, enthusiastic, because you're only, you're only doing it one time. And then when you, um, when you start calling your, your database, if you get a live person, again, you're speaking live to them. If you get a recording, you just push a button on your computer, and it dumps that pre-recorded message to that phone call. And while it's dumping that pre-recorded message that you made to that, to that voicemail, it's calling the next number. 
So like if you've got a one minute message you're leaving, while it's leaving that one minute message, it's dialing you the next number for you to talk to live. So if you call three numbers back to back, and let's say the first two hit voicemail, it's very likely that it's leaving a voicemail on call one and call two while you're actually speaking with it with call number three. So you can you can make phone calls a whole lot faster. So that's just a real quick general overview. So now let's talk about the specifics of how it works and uh, and what scripts uh, that you that we recommend that you do. So first of all, this thing is 100% cloud based. Uh, so there's nothing to install on your computer. You just use the computer and the phone that you already own, and you can dial from uh, from any location whatsoever. And how it works is you load up your leads, like I talked about, and you can import a list of contacts that you already have. And by the way, it has a built-in contact manager that allows you to sort and search through your, your, your database in different ways, too, like by zip code or by, um, that's probably going to be the most beneficial for most people, is it'll, it'll sort through it by uh, zip code. Now, Scotty, I know some people are saying, well, wait a minute, I... I really don't have a list to be calling. I, I've just got into the business, and, and I really don't have a list to be calling. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, everybody's got a list that they'll be calling. Everybody. Everybody's got a list. And, and I guess if you, the way to look at that, the way I look at that is if you were to get married, if you were to, you know, I hate to use this, but I think Zig Ziglar used it one time. If you were to go to a funeral, how many people would be at your funeral? About 250 people is what they say. Those are your sphere of influence. Like I would make a list of everybody you ever talked to, everybody you've ever witnessed. I mean, and, and continually add people to that. I mean, I'm telling you, everybody has a list. You are 100 percent correct, Carl. Yeah, and so church, friends, and family. Uh, again, like you said, Scotty, it's right on the numbers. Somewhere between 250, uh, 250 and 300 people. Everybody should have in their database just the people that we know. They're you know, as everybody calls in the business, your sphere of influence. And I know that's not breaking news to anybody, but I'm going to tell you it's the most underutilized, low-hanging fruit ever. So I just interviewed a, uh, a top agent out of uh, North Carolina uh, a couple days ago, and she said her primary thing that she did, that she does, is nothing but build a sphere of influence and market to that sphere of influence. And that's it. Everybody thinks, what's the magic bullet? What's the magic pill? is the sphere of influence and in, in, in contacting them on a regular basis, and that's what we're going to be talking about here, is the best way to contact them is by phone. So you, you upload your list of, 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 of leads up on your website. And by the way, nobody's got access to it, and you know, you're, you're, nobody's going to be calling your list or anything like that. And keep in mind, your list is nothing but a phone book. So you know, somebody could literally go buy the phone book, and your list is in that phone book, and they start calling on them. So I always get a kick out of people saying, wow, that's my list. I don't want to upload it. Well, the phone book. Your list is in the phone book, too. So it's, it's not that somebody has the phone numbers. It's the relationship you have with those people that makes it so powerful. And this is also going to help you build that relationship with them. So once you upload your, uh, your, 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 your list onto this website, the names and the phone numbers onto this website, you then call and record a voicemail in your own voice, right? And then when you catch an answering machine, which again, you're going to do seven, at least 70% of the time, you just push a button and it'll dump that voicemail and nobody will ever know that it was a, it was a dumped voicemail. It's, it's, it's absolutely impossible to tell. And, and the cool thing is, is you can have one script for calling FISBOs and you can have another yep. script for, for calling your past database. So you can have several different expired messages. listings. Expired listings. Expired li exactly. So as you're calling, uh, as you're calling these people, depending on what list they're on, you push what button one, and it does the expired listing script. Button two, the FISBO script. Button three, a past client uh, database script. So you get the idea. And so let's talk about like what some of the scripts would look like. So. Um, so, uh, and again, we recommend that you call three times per year. Call your database three times a year with this script right here. So I'm just going to kind of read this here just real quick. So again, this is the script that you're going to record on PhoneBurner as a one-time thing, and PhoneBurner is going to end up playing this 70% of the time that you're making your phone calls. Hey, Carl. So this is hey, the Carl. Yes, you know the little, you know, I, I love, this is an awesome script, but I love the uh, start of, what we've talked about before in our mastermind group where we talked about um, 
the start of the voicemail. And somebody asked a really good question: is like, is there a pause before the voicemail is left? And if you if you leave a pause when you record the message that you're actually going to leave, then yes, there'll be a pause. But I don't believe, and I haven't heard any complaints about it. Sounds like a telemarketer, and and and, it, and it's you leaving the message. But remember the remember the little start of the message that you did before you actually get into this. Yes. That was you, you want to share that with them now, or do you have that later on? Uh, I got later on. Okay, cool, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So, uh, so yeah, so so this is. Uh, we see, I see a question coming in from uh, Joanne. You know, this. You know, the question is, well, how, how do you get people's information without spamming them? Well, don't. And that's a great question, Joanne. Appreciate you asking that question. And the answer is, don't spam them. In other words, when you send information, send cool information. So, like, if if you call somebody. That's not called spam. That's called a phone call, right? And especially when it's a phone call of, of telling people thanks and how are you doing and just checking in to see how the holidays were. That's not spam. Spam is sending out some faceless email that's like an email newsletter. Like nobody reads that crap, right? Nobody. You don't read them. I don't read them. Scotty, you don't read them. Nobody reads that stuff. No. No. So why would we ever send that stuff to our database? So don't right. send that kind of stuff. Send cool information. That's actually going to help them. So, in this, so, so this is the voicemail that's recorded one time on phone burner and is dumped. So, let me just go through this script real quick. And thanks, thanks again for Joanne for uh, for uh, for being here, and that's a great question. So, here's the script. Hey, this is Carl from ABC uh, Real Estate, and uh, I helped you guys uh, with buying, you know, buying or selling. So, you have one script for the buyers that you help with the buyers, and one script that you help for helping the sellers. So. I helped you with the selling of your home in the past, and I just want to give you a real quick thanks for letting me help out. And hey, if you ever have any real estate or mortgage questions, or would like to report on home prices in your neighborhood, uh, just give me a buzz. By the way, I was just looking at some home values in your area, and I think you're going to be pleased with what I have to show you. So hey, the best number to reach me at is 555-1212. Hope all's well. Hope to talk to you soon. Oh, also, if you have any friends or family members that could use some honest help that's looking to buy, sell, or refinance house in the next six months, just give me a call about that too. So I'd be honored to help out, and I'll talk to you when you call back. Bye bye. That's it. Nice simple thing. You record it one time, and instead of having to repeat that thing 150 times a day because you're hitting voicemail, you record it once in a very chippery, early in the morning voice, right? And you're offering something of value, which is, as we look here, which would be something like, uh, hey, if you ever have any questions, or if you have any questions. Or, by the way, I was looking at some home values in your area, and I think you'll be pleased with what I have to show you. Right? So hey, hey, a, hey Carl, a, really quick here. I think um, I think a couple people on the call, there's a couple questions coming in, and I'm getting the feeling like people are feeling like this is a broadcast system. Now, this is not a broadcast system, and if you're joining us late, that might be why Carl went over the, the overview of the system. So what the system allows you to do really quick, Carl, if you don't mind, Sure. It allows you to record a message. It, it, it allows you to record this message that's on the screen right here. And so, like when you make, when you push the, this button inside Phone Burner to make the call, in somebody, you get somebody's voicemail. What happens is you push a button and it leaves this voicemail. If they answer the call, and then we're going to go over that in just a minute, but you would actually physically talk to them. And if it's somebody calling for you, you could use the same exact script. So we're going to go over that in just a second. But just to clarify, this is not a broadcast to record the voicemail and push it out there. This is a this is a really cool way to record a message. And 70% of the time when you do get the voicemails, you can leave the message. Instead of saying it 700 times, you say it one time and have the machine do the work for you. Yeah, because again, a, right. a, a broadcast, if they answer live, they hear the recording. That's Correct. way uncool. Way, way, way uncool. uncool. You never and want dangerous. to do that. Yeah, yeah, and dangerous. Yeah, you never. It's very uncool. You never want to do that. But so this is this is a, it broadcasts to the voicemail. If it gets a voicemail, but if it gets a live, you're going to talk to them live. And, and we got a script that we're going to. It's the same script. It's yeah. just you pause. Hey, this is Carl from ABC Mortgage. I help you guys with uh, with uh, selling your home in the past. How you guys doing? Right, and they're going to say, hey, we're this and this and this. Hey, well, real quick, Bob, I don't want to keep your time. I just want to give you a quick thanks for letting me help out. Hey, if you ever have any real estate, same script. You just pause and, and let them talk about how they're doing just for a few seconds. A three-minute phone call. Right. By the way, when you call in your database, these are not 20-minute phone calls. They don't, let's, be, let's, let's be real here for a minute. They don't want to talk to you for 20 minutes. They're busy, and you don't want to talk to them. They're busy, you're busy, but they like being touched. 
right? That might be tough. And if you can keep it to a, a short, quick, little three-minute phone call, and let's just say, well, you know, funny that you should call Carl. We were just looking at buying mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you engage into a conversation. But if this is just real quick uh, little phone calls. A good friend of ours, uh, Shira, is asking a, Shira is asking a great question. She says, hey, Carl, Scotty, if your database has gotten stale, do you have a reconnect script? This is it. This is your reconnect script. This is it. And, and, and if you're calling your database three times a year, it'll never get stale again. This is your reconnect script. This is it. How are you guys doing? And we're going to talk about, well, isn't it kind of weird if you haven't talked to somebody in about two years? We're going to talk about here about that in just a second. Now, Scotty, the coolest part of doing this is since this is dumping a message on voicemails, what would keep me from having somebody else calling on my this behalf? This is the best part. This is the best part. Somebody else calling on my behalf, and this is Lauren here in my office, and that's Derek sitting there next to her, calling your database on your behalf, and when it gets a voicemail, when, when Lauren gets a voicemail, which again is 70% of the time, my voice is leading the message. So 70% of the time, I called my database, and I was really out, oh, just say, making a listing presentation. Or I was really at the Chamber of Commerce connecting up with people. Or I was really at meeting with my, the, the awesome loan officer that invited me here today, setting up a strategy session with them. Or maybe maybe taking them out to lunch to tell them thanks for sending you this awesome class, right? Or or maybe a, on a vacation, or doing whatever you want to do. Or maybe you're making phone calls too, but again, seventy percent of the time they're going to be getting voicemail, and so it's your voice left on that message. So your database, most of the time, three quarters of the time, you're the one, that, or, or two thirds of the time, you did call them, you did leave a voicemail to them. The other 30% of the time, they get a live answer. Your freedom call, we call them a freedom call, because it really freezes up. They use a script like this. So like this, this is if call. somebody, this is if somebody's calling for you, and they actually answer the phone, correct? Yeah. So, so my, let's, so let's okay, say so Lauren's sure. making yep. the phone call. Yep. Lauren's making the phone call for Carl yep. White. Yeah. And so, if they get a voicemail, when Lauren gets a voicemail, it's it's my message being dumped on there in my voice. If Lauren gets a live answer, this is the message, this is the conversation that Lauren has. Say, hey, this is Lauren, uh, Carl White from Carl's Real Estate Company wanted me to give you a call. He helped you with uh, uh, selling your home in the past, and he just wanted me to give you a quick call uh, thanking you for letting him help out. How are you guys doing? Same script, right? Pause, pause for answer, and then she gives the appropriate answer. Hey, well, if you ever have any real estate or mortgage questions, uh, Carl want me to tell you to please give him a buzz. If you grab a pen, I'll give you his number here real quick. The best number to reach Carl at is 555-1212. Hope all's well. Hope to talk to you soon. Oh, also, Carl want me to ask you if you have any friends or family members that are looking to buy, sell, or refinance a home that could use some honest help. Do you know anybody looking to buy, sell, or home in the next six months? Pause for answer. Most of the time it's no. Right? When they say no, okay, well, that's cool. Hey, can we count on you to give Carl a call when you do? Pause for answer. Great. <laughs> He'd be honored to help out. He'll talk to you when you call back. Bye-bye. And that's it. That's it. Again, this is only 30% of the time. The other 70% of the time, it's your voice. Mm -hmm. Now, Scotty, this always comes up. It's like, well, wait a minute. What about people that you haven't spoken to in a few years? Hey, guys, I get it. I need to be calling my database three times a year. I know I've been meaning to. Frankly, I didn't know what to say. Now that you showed me what to say, uh, gosh, isn't it kind of awkward for me to be calling them after two years? Hey, guys, I get some breaking news for you. <laughs> People don't think about you. People think about you a whole lot less than you think they do. Right? And what I mean by that, and I don't mean any disrespect, of course, by this, but what I mean by that is, Scotty, if, if, if you don't call, if you haven't called your database in the last two years, they're not sitting there going, Gee, Scotty, here's been two years. We've been waiting by the phone every evening, and Scotty's never called us. He's never written us. He's never came by. We think about him every day, and it hurts. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Nope. <laughs> nope. They haven't thought about you. Hey, one of the other questions coming in is uh, Sal. I appreciate the uh, the question, Sal. She says, "Isn't it? Doesn't it sound generic if I leave a message and don't use their name?" Well, I guess my question.
question was, okay, if you don't call them ever, or you call them and don't use their name, which one would be better? Yeah, which is going to give you the best results? Which is going to give you the best results? So that 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 would be my question to you. So, I mean, if you I mean, if you want to call every single person and get seventy out of a hundred voicemails and use their name, awesome. Then just put it on your calendar. And make sure you do it. But if you want to do it in a timely manner so you can do something else, this would be a great yeah. way to do it. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, pick up the phone. Just do it. Yeah. You know, do it. But let, let me tell you something. If, 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 and again, I say this with absolute hundred percent respect and great questions. We encourage the questions. But if you're looking for a reason this won't work, you're too late. It already works. We're doing it, and it's kicking. It's, it's one of the best things I've ever done. It works like gangbusters. It's killer. It does. Two questions, really quick, before you can, before you proceed. To Chuck okay. saying, is there a is there a lag time if they answer? No, there's no lag. It's just, it's, it's like you're physically calling, and also it calls one. For, it actually the caller ID shows from whatever number you put in phone burner to receive and make the calls from. That's yeah, cool. so it looks like I'm calling from my office phone. That's exactly correct. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Which is really cool because I can be calling from my cell phone, like out of my home office. Right. But the caller ID, the ID they get is back at the office because I don't want to call my cell phone. I want to call the office phone, right? So that I can, you know, or that's just right. the way I run my business. Is you know, I have people at the office that'll that'll pre-screen and you know, so for my uh, uh, time blocking, which we got another class on that. But yeah, this is just just do this. And I can tell you, I, I have called thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people using this system. Yeah. I've never once had somebody saying, "Hey, Carl, man, I knew what you were doing there." Never yeah, right, right. Never Here's a great question. Here's a great question that just fits what you just talked about as far as as far as Lauren making the calls for you. Here's the best part about the whole system. Debbie, I appreciate the question because it's a good one. So Debbie says, does the website keep track of which ones were left a message? So that's the cool part. It actually does show you 70, 70 message left, 30 live calls. So you know whoever's making that call for you, how many calls they made, how many people got the message, and how many people they actually physically talked to. Great question. Yeah. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So um so uh all right, so let's talk let's let's go over uh, uh let's go over like a FISBO script just real quick. So uh so a FISBO script in uh if when you call them FISBOs, and again, assuming it's okay with your compliance that you're calling FISBOs, I'll let you do your homework on that. And uh, it's your real simple script that we got from uh, Robbie. It's hi. I saw you have a home for sale, and I have a couple questions. Please call me at 555-1212, right? Uh, if live, so that's, that's the script that you hit the voicemail that you would upload into phone burner. If live, you know, you say, hey, tell me about your house. That sounds great. I'd like to come, I'd like to see it. When can I come by? Don't try to sell on the phone, by the way. Never, ever, ever try to sell by the phone. The only thing your phone is for is to set appointments. Right? Set appointments to go look at their house. Don't try to list it over the phone. Set an appointment to come by and see it. I know that this is simple stuff, and I get that, but I just want to over. I can't. I can't overemphasize that. Right? I can't overemphasize that. So, all right. So let's talk about hey, what this, works hey, here. Hey, hey, get this, Carl. Stephen Stewart he says, "I used this system before in doing cold calls. We were dialing about a hundred numbers an hour." Oh, oh, it's massive. And we're going to go into that. It's massive numbers that you can do with this thing. So again, how it works is you choose all the compacts that you uploaded in the system. Uh, you can do as many as you want. You can have it so it calls people from a certain area code or a certain zip code. Uh, it'll um, it'll let you do that. And um, it uh, once you start your auto dial session, it's just a simple. You just pick up your phone, dial into phone burner, and click a button, and you're ready to start calling your contacts at a rate of about one per minute about one per minute. So in other words, you can run through about 60 people in an hour. Or keep in mind, most of the time by far you're hitting voicemail and on the live ones. Again, this is short, little, quick, two, three minute phone calls. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the key to this thing. Now, and somebody asked this question, when my contact answers, will there be a pause before they hear you, hear you speak? No, there's no pause. This is not you know, one of those antiquated auto dialers where it's calling five people and whoever answers first, it, it leads to them. It's only calling one per time. And as far as what you need to use this system, and there's other systems, so we're not, you know, we don't care which system you use. Phone burners just happens to be the one that we use, and we have no interest. We don't own it. I don't even know the owners. We have no affiliate link or anything like that. So, uh, 
So uh, uh, you just need a regular computer, and it's PC or Mac, an internet connection. Of course, it, it costs, and we're going to go over the cost over here in a minute, but it's dirt cheap for billing. And then, uh, and then a, a regular, uh, and then a phone, whether it's a cell phone or a landline or even a, a voice over internet. Um, there's no long distance char charges other than you know dialing in the phone burner. Um, you can use phone burner anywhere. Here's another cool thing. Get this. So phone burner also sends emails. Also sends emails. I'm going to give you an example here in a second. So once you leave a message with them. You push a button, and it sends them an automated email only to the people that got the voicemail, or to the also to the people that answered live. You just click it which one you want it to do, and it'll send an email. I'm going to show you an example here in a second. And the email can be totally customizable, totally customizable. So here's a script that uh, that I that I use online. So in other words, I've left a voicemail using phone burner. And then it automatically emails out to them. When I click, say, yes, send the email. In the, the subject line, just left you a message, email body, just a quick heads up. I just called and hit your voicemail, so I left you a message. I'll talk to you when you call back. Talk soon, Carl. That's it. You can send that. That email fits any message that you left to them. Like it's totally open. And when they get this email and they get that voicemail in your voice, they're totally going to think that you called them. I'm telling you, because you did call them. You did call them. And Scotty, you're right. The numbers here. Using phone burner, you can average about one minute per person in your database. So get this, guys. It, a 300-person database is what, what 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 we find is typical. A 300-person database would be 300 minutes or about five hours. So in five hours, you can do what most people haven't done in five years. Which is call your entire database and get more deals. This is low hanging fruit. I personally have never had anybody. We do. We Scotty and I do some private, uh, you know, one on one coaching to, to to a group of people. There's no no openings available for it, but we do a, a, a small private coaching. We have never once with our private clients never once had somebody use this, call their database, and not report back that same day they got a deal. Hasn't happened one time. No. Not once. No. Not once. No. no. Ever. Works every single time. So imagine, I mean, think of this, guys. I really need to think about this. Imagine what your business would look like if you made an additional 300 calls a month, and it took a total of about five hours, or, or about one hour and 15 minutes a week. One hour and 15 minutes a week, you're calling an additional 300 people that need Crazy. real estate help. Well, what would your business look like if you did that? He called 300 FISBOs, 300 expired listings, 300 people in your database. Great question here coming in from Dave. So Dave's get, Dave says, Carl, can you set different messages for different parts of your database? And that's absolutely yes. Here's the cool part. Here's the crazy cool part about that. Okay, so you got a VA, right? Call in past database, different message. You got a VA call in FISBOs, different message. You got a VA call in expired listings, different message. You got a VA call in they use Boomtown or Tiger Leads or Truly or whatever, all those leads, a different message. All she does is pick the message, start dialing. Click the button, start dialing. It's, it's, it's that easy. It's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so on this system, the cost of it, and again, Scotty and I have no ownership into it, or nor do we owe the, know the owners, um, uh, the seven and a half hour package which is a lot of phone numbers. I, I'm going to say by far, yeah, yeah, by far, that's going to work for most people. Is um, uh, uh, $67.50 a month, and you can purchase extra hours. But I'm going to tell you, for most people, that'll work. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Scotty. I can't remember if I've got the 67 package or the 149 package. We have an enormous database, and I'm not yeah. sure which we have. But I, it's, I uh, it's 450 minutes the same as seven and a half hours. I would I would assume. Yeah. Right about, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so it, yep, it sure is. Yep. Okay. It's 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 you know that that'll that's going to handle for uh, uh, most people, and it also has automated rollover of minutes. Uh, that's also uh, that's included too, and there's no contract. You can start it and stop it. Like if you're calling your database three times a, a year, you can start it, call your database, you know, once in the spring, cancel it, start it again in the summer, call your database, cancel it again, start it on. But I'm going to tell you. 
don't just use it for calling your database. Use it for the expires. Use it for the systems and like whatever you're in your compliance, whatever you're allowed to do. I, I would I would hammer this thing like like why don't right because we again we know this is where the money is. This is where the phone call is where the money is. And by and by only having to actually leave the message once when you're making the phone calls, you're you're I'm telling you you have more energy when you're making your calls. You know you don't you're not getting more out like voicemails and you're having to listen to their voicemail before you leave a voicemail and some of those voicemails are you know minute apiece and all that waste of time. This will be laser beam focused time for you. So yeah, hey, a couple questions real quick. Couple questions real quick. Um, you know, Dan asked a good question, but so like, so he says, when when what if the what if they pick up after you, after the voicemail starts? Will be the same as if you don't get to the phone and the voicemail starts. It just sounds like you're leaving the voicemail. So I don't know how many times that's happened. I mean, it's happened a couple times. But if I pick up, it just never seems to work on the phone. You know, the voicemail is supposed to stop, but it. I don't know. I don't know about you, but it just seems to never do. And then you hang up, and then you call back or whatever. But I mean. So be so you get one out of a thousand that it happens to. Oh well, you know. I mean, that's yeah. the, the and, thing is and, that you're again, calling your database. And, and another thing to keep in mind, Scotty, is on today's voicemail systems, almost nobody's got quote an answering machine. You know, right. pretty much, I, I cell phone. probably close to a hundred percent. Voicemail is all you know on your cell phone or digital right. from Verizon or whoever you have your phone service with. Almost nobody has. You know, I, I haven't seen an answering machine in years. And I'm not saying that they don't exist, but it's just almost non-existent. That, that, that's just a non-issue. So uh, how you sign up for this? And again, there's multiple services. This just happens to be the one that we use. It's phoneburner.com. Uh, and um, uh, uh, Paul and Karen called them up. And um, if you put freedom in, uh, we got them, we told them we were going to be doing a call today. And if you put the word freedom in, it, they give you, you actually get a discount off of that uh, $67. Frankly, I don't remember what the discount was, and there doesn't even need to be a discount. I'm telling you, this is a killer service, and again, Big money. Yeah. you know, Scotty and I don't own the company, and hell, I wish I did. But, what yet? Uh, this we is, don't own it yet. This, this, is a, <laughs> we don't own it yet. this is just a great company, so I uh, I highly rec recommend it. So, uh, yeah, James, so James uh, brings up a good question. You know, James says, you know, putting the people into the database uh, seems to be the hard part. Here's the cool part about that, James. If he got, he's talking about FISBOs and expires and stuff like that. Somebody else. I mean, I don't know about you, but copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. I mean, putting them into an Excel spreadsheet, something that uh, a college student, high school student, probably a middle school uh, a school student could do uh, for you at a very, very cheap rate, five bucks an hour. I mean, that's something that somebody else could be doing, and then. When they're ready, export import into phone burner would be a two second process, and you're off and dialing. So that's when an assistant comes in, learn to delegate the stuff that's really you know that's not making you any money and stuff like that. That'd be a great part time job for somebody to do for you. Yeah, uh, John uh, Hefmeister is asking a great question. John, thanks for being here, brother. Is uh, who do we use for a VA company? And Scotty, you've got a class on um, that you did on. Uh, uh, how we hire our VAs, in which we actually use a service in the Philippines. Uh, you did yeah. a class on that, is that correct? Uh, I don't think that I've done the. You know what? If we did, it was a couple, it was a couple years ago. We've been doing this for two years now, so it was a long time ago. But yes, I do have a class on that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so the yep. service we use is called OnlineJobs.ph. OnlineJobs.ph. So it's not .com. It's .ph. OnlineJobs.ph. And it's a um, it's um, it's not really a company. It's just this website where uh, uh, VAs in the Philippines uh, are at, and uh, and that's a we'll have to do a whole. We need to re, we'll do a we do that class, class on yeah, that. So for sure, for sure. That's a great class yeah. where we get you know they speak very good English. Uh, called English is the uh, language they do in the school systems there. So if they go to high school or elementary school, English is the language, and uh, so uh, so we do that. A great, here's for, a great question. Okay. Um, James is asking, how are the minutes calculated? I think it's just is a message. Yeah, because I think they count the message. So if they're leaving a message, that counts out as a minute. Um, if you actually connect with them, I don't think that that counts as a minute. Is that correct? If you're having a normal phone call conversation, I don't think that counts, does it? Correct. Correct. If, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I don't even know. It doesn't I matter. So much it doesn't money. matter. I make so yeah. much. I mean, this is like, yeah. guys, I'm telling you, this is like if you're, if you're, this is like you're, you're dipping into the well and pulling up gold dust. Right. And and well, how much does the bucket cost? It's it's irrelevant. 
I mean, the, the amount of money that you make on this thing is just killer. I, I'm almost positive we've got the seven and a half hour one, and that works for our database. That, that you know, we we got a large database, so I'm almost. Positive. I got rollover, and the cool part is you get it's rollover minutes. So if you don't use your minutes, it rolls over and adds to what the next month. So you get four fifty. Use four hundred fifty rolls into the next month. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, cool. Anything else? I think. Oh man. Uh, hmm. I got how many That's messages it, uh, can you set? Uh, you, what if you give back to I, I think it's unlimited messages. So you know, <laughs> yeah, Lisa, Lisa is like, what if uh, unlimited message? Yeah. So what if you give get back to back people? C congratulations, you're talking to a live person, right? I mean. That's the best part. Use the script. We, you know, use the script on the live live call or whoever is making that call to make a live call. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, I know. Let me uh, really quick for everybody joining us for the first time. I'm gonna take the screen from you real quick, Carl. Okay. Oops. Forward slash groups. Forward slash agent mastermind. We are. Uh, uh, we have a private group on Facebook just for you guys to ask questions. If for some reason we didn't get to your question. Uh, please go to the group and sign, just uh, ask to join the group, and we will for sure give that to you. So here's it. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Facebook.com forward slash groups. There's a, we're, all, we're approaching 2,800 people on there. Amazing questions you get to collaborate and interact with colleagues across the U.S., agents all over the place. It's just a great learning experience. So if you have a question, ask it there. There's always somebody monitoring that. There's always agents that I, and I really appreciate everybody collaborating there and sharing their opinion. You know, there's no right or wrong answers, just how we all do it a little bit differently. So um, hang out with us there, and we'll make sure and get you into there as well. And there's like 2,500. I mean, there's thousands of there's 27. Yeah, there's 27, almost 2,800 people in there. Yeah, we, we add about 100 a week to the uh, group, so we're growing. We'll be, you know, we'll be at 3,000 very soon. So, and, yep. and guys, I'm telling you, you you want to tag into this stuff before, before your competition does. I'm absolutely, you, you absolutely. Don't want to do that. So, absolutely. so to get a copy of uh, my PowerPoint and the scripts and recording of this call, all you got to do is contact the loan professional that sent you here. And they provide that to you at no cost. So uh, they, they got a copy of the PowerPoint, they got a copy of the script, and they got a copy of some of the past classes that we did, and also the invitation to make sure that you get invited to the next class, which uh, we'll definitely put the, uh, uh, how to how to how to hire the VAs and what kind of activity do you have them do. We'll have them. Uh, we'll have a class on that here in the next uh, next upcoming weeks. We'll uh, make sure to get that uh, on there. But contact the loan professional because I'm telling you. These are the kind of loan professionals you want to be hanging out with because they're the ones that, that, that step out of the box and don't just sit and knock on your door and say, give me a loan, give me a loan, give me a loan. These are the people who you build your business, and uh, these are the kind of people you want to hang out with. So, uh, so, so kudos for, the, for the having an LO on your, uh, on your side that's looking after you. So, uh, so All right, fun. everybody. Carl, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, man. Look forward to seeing you next week at our event down in Florida. Yep, I'm looking forward to that too, my friend. So uh, thanks, right, thanks, for, thanks for having me, Scotty. It's a, it's a pleasure to be a part of uh, this awesome group that you've created. Absolutely, brother. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, thanks, everybody, for joining us for the Agent Mastermind First Class 2014. Looking forward to seeing you guys right here next week at Agent Mastermind Class 2 of 2014. Take care, everybody. Be safe, and we'll see you on the web. Bye-bye. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.